All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over um, should you go through WGU's network engineering uh, bachelor's programs? So if you guys don't know, um, Western Governs University, um, which is a four-year accredited university, does offer a network engineering program, um, like a bachelor's degree, that can give you the ability to um, get uh, obtain a networking um, bachelor's degree. So is this um, bachelor's degree worth it? So first thing you, I want to ask yourself is, before you ever attempt to get a degree, you always want to ask yourself, what is your end goal? Um, is your end goal to um, land a network engineering job? Um, is your goal to learn just to see if you're interested in the network engineering field? Is your goal just to get the degree because your parents are making you get the degree? Um, there's a lot of different things that a lot of people are asking themselves. So um, um, the degree, like I said, it is a good degree, um, mainly because it's not a traditional four-year degree. And I, I actually, you know, I love the fact that you can get degrees quicker now because as you guys know, college degrees, the four-year path is is a long path, right? And if you're not going to Ivy League schools, I I, I vehemently disagree with getting that go, getting a uh, college degree. As long as you're, if you're going to Ivy League, go to college. If you want the college experience, go to college. But besides that, there's no other reason to go to college. Um, but WGU kind of offers an alternative where you can get a college degree in six months, right? And basically, all you have to do is, you know, you take half your credits at Sophia or Study.com. Um, and then the other half of credits you do at WGU at whatever program, and you have a college degree in six months, right? You pay three thousand five hundred dollars, something or four thousand, something like that, and you know you you saved three and a half years and fifty thousand um, dollars. So it's a really good option for a lot of students. And like I said, this is accredited. This is not BS. This is a real degree. This is actually has you know, it is actually seen as a real degree. So I, I would highly recommend it um, if you guys want to get into the field of network engineering. Um, but do you need this degree to get into network engineering? Absolutely not. If your goal is to become a network engineer, you don't need a degree in the first spot. But this degree does have its perks because it does give you certifications and it does also um, kind of put you in like in a mode of like, I need to study, focus, and, and sort of grind it out. But the thing is, you know you can graduate in six months. It may be worth it, but I truly believe you need to get the skills. And sometimes with WGU, um, they're kind of, they're, they're not to say they're just like, you know, oven baking certs for you and tell you to, Hey, just get more and more certs. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a lot of theory in that, in that degree. And that theory is not going to get you far. Um, it may help you just to understand it, but if your goal is to land a job, you need the hard skills that companies are looking for. I know a lot of people who have these degrees in WG and cybersecurity and, and IT, um, they have these degrees, but they don't have skills or their skills are so sparsed out in different fields that it's just not the best, right? So and for this program itself, I would say it's okay. The only problem with this program, it's hyper-focused on networking and network security. The issue with that is it, it pigeonhole, pigeonhole you into a networking field, um, and it doesn't open the door for you for, for other opportunities. I would highly recommend you look at a more broad degree. You might say, hey, I don't want to get a broad degree because I don't want to focus on you know, networking only, I only want networking. That's fine, still get a broad degree, but then be hyper-focused on, on learning the networking skills that actually matter that companies are looking for. If you guys want help on how to find those skills, please message me on Instagram, IT with Wally, or just DM me the um, or just click the link in my description um, and just book a call with me and I can see if I can help you with that. But the broader the degree, the actually the better it is because it opens opportunities for you and it doesn't matter. Like. If a hiring manager sees computer information systems or computer science or networking, whatever, the comp like they're all the same thing. You, even if it's for a networking position, they're gonna be like, "Oh, you went to school for networking? That's amazing." They don't care about that. They care about the skills, right? I've seen people with like math degrees or, 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 or physics degrees or, um, you know, chemistry degrees get into the field, right? So that's how it is, guys. If you want to get into the field, focus on what matters, and what and what matters is getting the skills. The skills is the most important thing if you guys want to get into tech. So focus on those skills that the hiring managers are looking for um, and build the projects, build the labs, learn how to speak during interviews, learn how to get interviews, learn how to... There's a lot more things that are involved if you guys want to get into the field and those are, that matter more. But I would say this program itself, if you do want to get into network engineering, I would say go for it if you want, but I don't recommend it. Um, and I'd highly go for a broader degree, right? A broader degree offers a lot more opportunities for you, and like I said, there there isn't like a there isn't like a a value added to getting a specific networking degree. 
Um, you do get some certification, which is great. But then, like I said, the certifications are just, they're, they're just filler at the end of the day. If you don't have the skills uh, that they're looking for, then what's the point? So um, hopefully this has given you insight. I do think it's a wonderful program. I wish I knew about it when I was in 18 because I was, if I was 18, I would have jumped on this. I would have got my, you know, I would have been a college grad at 18. Like that would have been amazing. Um, it's kind of a hack, right? If you guys know this now, I would take advantage. Um, does it diminish the value of degree? Of course, but degrees have already have, have been diminishing for the past 20, 30 years anyway. So it doesn't matter if you went to WGU or you went to University of Florida at the end of the day. As crazy as it sounds, it, that's kind of how it is. Um, and like I said, there's other programs besides WGU. There's other, uh, like these kind of fast track universities, if you want to look into it. Um, so I do recommend, you know, you go into it if you, if you have the time and the money, um, go for it. You know, it's a free degree, but just know that you probably won't land a job after it. Cause I know a lot of people who go to WGU who, who can't find jobs mainly because they think as soon as I graduate, I'm going to find a job. Uh, but there's a lot more you have to learn. Um, and if you guys want help, please, um, book a call with me down below. Um, or just message me on, on Instagram. So um, I want to say thank you guys so much for your time. Hopefully this has been informative and has given you some insights in whether you should get the WGU Network and Network Security uh, Bachelor's Degree. So thank you guys so much for your time. I really do appreciate you know you guys' viewership. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And with that being said, everyone, thank you guys so much for your time and peace.